Well, we're seeing some progress today in the work to protect our drinking water from the saltwater intrusion emergency. In JP, crews have started building a pipeline that is to bring that water, that fresh water, down to the water intakes once the salt wedge arrives in the city. Meanwhile, New Orleans says it's still working on securing contractors. Alyssa Curtis is joining us live from where they're working on that pipeline in JP. Alyssa, this is a huge step. Katie, Sharice, not only is this a huge step, but this is extremely good news because that salt water is just not slowing down as it moves up the Mississippi River. So this will ensure that the West Bank's water will stay safe and clean of that salt water. I want to give you a look at what this looks like right now. Crews got, well, Jefferson Parish got the go ahead from the Army Corps of Engineers just this morning. Crews got out here about 2.30 in the afternoon. They worked on this for about two hours. They essentially took the these big, huge, what are looking like hoses, and they put them on these machines and rolled them out. And these go very, very far down. And uh, we're expecting that these will make about a mile. The pipeline here on the West Bank will eventually be about 15 miles. The one on the East Bank will be about 10 miles. Um, again, they just got the go ahead to lay the first three miles today, this morning, and crews just got right to work. Cynthia Lee Shang, the president of Jefferson Parish is just so excited for this because as we know, they've been working day in and day out to make sure that they can combat this saltwater wedge as it moves upriver. Now, these East Bank uh, pipeline should not be too far behind, but that one will be essentially laying parallel to the one that Orleans is putting in. So Cynthia Lee Shang says that that one is taking just a little bit more collaboration, of course, with Orleans and Sewerage and Water Board because they have to talk to these properties. They have to talk to uh, just more people to collaborate to make sure that they are able to lay both of these pipes down uh, parallel to each other and just make sure everyone is in coordination and collaboration when it comes to this. But again, this is just a huge step forward in this process. They're hoping to get the green light for the next few steps including getting some more of this pipe laid down. But they said the good news is that they should be done with the whole entire thing before that saltwater wedge reaches this area. But in case it doesn't, they should be able to pull water, uh, clean water from upriver while this is still in progress. So very good news here. Of course, we are still waiting to hear more from the Orleans Parish uh, regarding the pipeline over there. They are working to get contractors uh, laid down and kind of secured, but we are hoping to get more uh, soon as they're hoping to start the first few steps later this week. But again, very good news for Jefferson Parish, very good news for the West Bank as we continue to combat this saltwater wedge. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated as we get more information. But for now, reporting in Jefferson Parish, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. All right. Thank you for that update, Alyssa.